If you're treating post-quantum cryptography as an algorithm swap, you're already behind. Because PQC isn't a patch. It's a migration across protocols, applications, software libraries, hardware and firmware, and every third-party ecosystem your business depends on. NIST's crypto agility framing is the right mental model, the capability to replace and adapt cryptographic algorithms across those environments without breaking security or operations. That is a program, not a project. And here's the first hard problem. CISA is blunt about it, discovery and inventory. You cannot migrate what you cannot find, especially when cryptography is embedded in appliances, long-lived edge devices, and vendor-managed platforms. We've seen how this plays out in the real world. Heartbleed wasn't just TLS. It was an open SSL dependency problem. Organizations spent weeks figuring out which systems had the vulnerable library, then patching, then rotating keys and certificates, including third-party and embedded devices that didn't update cleanly. Roka was worse. Vulnerable RSA keys generated across widely deployed secure hardware, TPMs, smart cards, tokens. Fixing it often meant revoking credentials, reissuing keys, and dealing with firmware constraints and manual remediation. Even certificate and algorithm transitions create outages. When older environments couldn't handle modern certificate chains or deprecations, organizations learned the hard way that crypto changes fail at the edges. Legacy devices, forgotten services, and vendor systems you don't control. So here's the practical start. Minimum viable crypto inventory, five fields. One, the system, service, or device class. Two, where crypto is used, protocol plus library or module. Three, algorithm family and key sizes as known. Four, the owner team plus vendor dependency. Five, the update mechanism, patch path, firmware cadence, and truck roll risk. Next 30 days, lock the schema, assign owners, and prioritize tier zero services, identity, remote access, and core network security. Next 90 days, expand to edge and partner connections and build a PQC transition backlog, top blockers, interoperability constraints, and upgrade paths. One reason not to wait, harvest now, decrypt later. If your data needs long-term secrecy, it can be collected today and decrypted in the future. Question for the field, what's your biggest blocker to crypto agility right now? Visibility and inventory, vendor opacity, or operational risk of change?